Well, that sucks. You know, Jonathan Grenard, who had 12 and a half sacks, is going to be officially joining the Minnesota Vikings and the team that the Texans play in 2024. And thought I'd get my quick two cents in. I gotta say, you know, said in my last video and said on Instagram, it's gonna suck if the Texans couldn't can't resign Jonathan Grenard. And that's the reality that Texans fans like myself are now enduring that Jonathan Grenard is no longer a Houston Texan after his spending his first four years with the team. Yeah, I understand he, he had injuries, you know, here and there, but dude bought out for sure uh, uh, under the Miko Ryans, you know, 12 and a half sacks. You know, him and Will Anderson, you know, gonna miss those guys, but not to mention you know, thank you, Jonathan Grenard, for everything, for, for all that you brought to to the defense and to the city. You know, I wish you nothing but the best in Minnesota, you know. Hope you ball out out there. But now, I feel like the Texans can show, go at an edge rushing now, now that Grenard is no longer a Texan. So, it is, or even draft the edge rusher in the upcoming draft, which I could see happening. But... As of now, Jonathan Grenard is no longer a Texan, and he is now going to the Minnesota Vikings. You know, I mean, not sure how long for the contract, but yeah, gonna miss, gonna miss the man in the Texans uniform. But you know, it's a business at the end of the day. It's a business, so hopefully we can keep. Hopefully we can, in the wake of Jonathan Grenard not longer being with the Texans, hopefully we can, the Texans can at least bring back Black Cashman and along with Sheldon Rankins and along with Derek Barnett for my honorable mention at this point because defense got to get, has to be upgraded from the run and pass defense for sure. So, yeah. Just thought I'd come put my two cents in, but more Texans news. Hey, I will be back. So, till my next video, go Texans. I'm out.